All right, so we finally have a clear spot on our bench because we decided to bring out our valve cover. So the engine, I just dropped it off at the machine shop. It's got some issues with the cylinder, so that needs to get fixed. So while that's happening, I have almost nothing to do except uh, work on the valve cover. We're going to do two things. We're going to end up painting this whole thing what I think is going to be a pretty awesome color. It's really going to pop in the engine bay. However, before we get to that, I want to address the PCV system because if we don't do that now, then we have to ruin our paint and fix it later and that sucks. There's two things with the PCV system on this car. One here has a check valve. This goes to anything between the turbo and the throttle body. Um, this has a one-way valve in it, so boost doesn't actually blow into the crank, into the um, valve cover, which ends up pressurizing your crankcase. The other thing is over here. Um, this is another vent, and that goes before the, uh, the turbo, so you're always getting kind of a vacuum on that. These are relatively small. They're maybe a quarter inch opening, uh, so I'm looking to try and maximize and really open those up. Um, my plan is to actually get rid of the check valve and have a full vacuum on this side of the valve cover to pull all the vapors that come through here and hopefully put a vacuum in the crankcase so that not only are we not blowing out any seals or anything like that, but any blow by that happens on the cylinders, especially during warm up um, or even when we're pushing a higher boost, will be pulled by this. So, what does that mean? A couple things. One, we have some 10 AN fittings. So we're going to essentially do something like that, um, except not just weld that. Obviously you can see there's a pretty big volume difference there in terms of our, our cross-sectional area. So we're probably with this one vent going to get more venting than the two vents combined because this one's actually extremely restrictive. With that check valve in there, it's just a sliding check valve, so it doesn't even have a spring in it. Um, maybe it did it one time, but it doesn't anymore at least. Uh, so we're going to remove this, I've already cracked it loose, and uh, nothing goes through. Now something goes through. So I'm going to remove this piece here. If you just drill through here, you're going to get into your baffles, you're going to put a whole bunch of crap inside your valve cover, and there's pretty much no way to get it out. The valve cover is actually sloped, so as you see, it's not actually a, a 90 degree so when we have our fitting, it doesn't actually close. So we have a little bit of space. Instead of trying to fill all this in with weld, which is gonna be annoying because it's a cast part, we're gonna go ahead and machine this down a little bit and then cut it to match this profile. That is going to be our filler. And then from there, these have basically the same outer diameter and we'll be able to TIG weld that in.
It's definitely not pretty, but uh, it definitely will hold. There's not really an easy way to pressure test this. But we have a fitting, we didn't destroy the threads, and that's what's really important.